Hi, welcome to the Tournament Center at the Magic Players Championship. I'm Zach Hill, and I'm here with Samuela Estrade, Pro Tour Philly Philadelphia winner. Uh, Samuela, you're here with a Rug Delver deck to play for the modern portion of the event. Can you tell us why you chose that deck? I think that uh, is the best deck of the format, and uh, I love this strategy, tempo decks. Uh, oh, yeah? Um, so it's almost 50% against the field, but the strategy is very good because it uh, makes opponents think uh, uh -huh. what you can have in your hand uh, right. and uh, they, they can uh, mis misplay easily than sure. another deck. Rather than just, you know, kind of doing one strategy and seeing if you draw the correct cards, you want to you wanna interact with your opponent yeah, as much as possible. That. Cool. Well, let's talk about some of the ways you do that. Now, uh, obviously, this is Rug Delver, so you've got the normal threats of uh, four Delver of Secrets, four Tarmogoyf, Snapcaster Mage. Now, you, you decided to go and play three whole copies of Vendillion Click. Uh, that's a little more than a lot of the list we've seen. Why, why did you focus on that card? Because uh, I like uh, to pass my turn with mana open, so uh -huh. I, can, I can think I can have counters or barn spells or what else, uh, but uh, I can make a, a, a treat on the end of his turn, look at his end, and uh, know if I can uh, play uh, if a Dark and Shackles or a Tarmo or whatever else. And um, if, I, if I'm able to see his end, uh -huh. I can uh, start my plan without any difficulties, otherwise uh, play around some things or not. Right. That's why I like it. So you just want to have as much information yeah. as possible. Now you talked about wanting to pass the turn with mana open. Let's uh, sort of examine why that is. There's a lot of things that that can do on its opponent's turn. You've got obviously lightning bolt, uh, you've got burst lightning, um, cryptic command, deprive is another hard counter. You've got three copies of Mana Leak and I believe three Spell Snares in addition to the normal two Spell Pierce. Yeah. So how did, we, how did we arrive at that combination of instants to play to maximize your Delver? Um, normally, four Mana Leak are played in this deck, but I think that uh, in, uh, sometimes game uh, is not uh, so short. In, uh, in the sure. mirror against the Blue Boros can be very long, so cards like Mana Leak can be not so useful as the bribe. And uh, Spell Snare, I liked it very much, because uh -huh. uh, Blue Boros uh, mm, begins to play again as uh, Isaham Scepter. Okay. And uh, against the Mirror, it's a very good card, because Tarmogoyf is the right. MVP. Right. And uh, Snapcaster are played in um, so much, uh, pretty much every, every deck. Yeah, of course. And uh, in, even ag against Affinity, it's good. Really? So I think this is the counter of the, uh, of the model. And it's good against Affinity because it counters Arcbound Ravager and Cranial Plating. Yeah. Can you play things? Yeah. <laughs> and Phil Overseer, too, if you have no burn spells in your hand. Oh, okay. So it's pretty much uh, good. So Spell Snare here hits a lot of just the really powerful cards yeah. in the format. Snapcaster Mage, Dark Confidant. Can protect your Shackles of Tarmo from other Mana Leaks, Deprives, uh, whatever else. So sure. It's good. Yeah, that makes sense. So, so let's talk about Vettelkin Shackles. Again, a lot of the time you don't see three entire copies of this card. You know, they'll run one or two to make sure they can get to the late game. It seems a lot more central to your plan. How did you arrive at deciding to play three? I think that is uh, one of the best cards in the mirror uh, with the Thermogolf. Okay. Uh, it can, if uh, this card, if the, the field, the game is much pretty easy. <laughs> and, uh, even against uh, Blue Boros is good because um, the only really treat that can go through through the Dark and Shackles is Geist. Oh, but okay. you can get the uh, take the, the angel. Right. So two damage, two damage is so long. Right. So you can find other answers. And um, it's quite good against everything. So th this modern is no there are no many combo there are Many creatures to deck. Even uh, right. Naya Pod is a combo, but uh, it plays uh, many creatures. So exactly. Uh, even the shikos are good. Sure. I think uh, that uh, they are really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly a hard card to beat once you get to five mana and get enough islands into play. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's, it basically trumps a lot of the late game plans of basically any creature deck. Yes. So uh, well, let's talk a little bit about your mana base because you obviously need a lot of islands to go with the Vettelkin Shackles. You've got you know four Scalding Tarn, four Misty Rainforest, very standard. We see that in basically every list. 
I'm looking at, uh, I believe this is six islands, uh, one mountain, one forest, and, and only two breeding pools, two steam vents, and, and one s stomping grounds. Now, th that's a fairly large amount of basics, I think. Why, why did you decide to, to run this many basic lands, obviously, when there's a, a few dual land slots that are not occupied? Because uh, I think that uh, taking too much damage from patch land to uh, shock land sure. could be a really problem. So open your hand with uh, an islander and, uh, and uh, patch land can make you choose how to start uh, against uh, any uh, different deck. You can start in different ways. Of course. And uh, post sideboard, I have uh, Blood Moon. And, oh, okay. Uh, I need to <laughs> resolve it and don't die for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's, let's talk about Blood Moon for a little while. I mean, that's certainly, yeah, having Basic Island in play means that you can cast your spells and your opponent can't. Um, how did you decide that you wanted to be on the Blood Moon plan against a lot of the other decks that, that played a, a, a large number of non-basic lands? Because it's pretty much game. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good uh, reason. Yeah, sometimes it's game, and uh, there are many other decks like uh, Trons mm -hmm. that uh, if you play Blood Moon, uh, their plan uh, is difficult to realize. Sure. And uh, many other decks like Nayapod, if you can mm -hmm. uh, uh, interact with uh, her with Noble Year, Archbeard's Father right. as a world of roots, uh, then you make a Blood Moon and uh, he has only mountains to play. Right. Because uh, you have no forests, pretty much. Right. Sometimes one, one planes, so the mana base is uh, very weak against uh, Blood Moon. Yeah, they're relying upon their mana creatures to produce mana, but between Burst Lightning, Lightning Burst Bolt, Lightning, you know. Twisted Image. Yeah, 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 talk to us about Twisted Image. You know, it's. A, it's kind of a miser's one of, but I, I imagine it feels pretty good to get a wall of roots. Yeah, <laughs> wall of roots, <laughs> another yard, and the beautiful fire would be perfect. But uh, against Affinity, it's good too for single pest, ornithopter. Oh, sure, yeah. And uh, with the Slapcaster, it can be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you can destroy, draw, destroy, draw, and uh, right. it's a really large advantage, I think. So. Well, so if, good. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if it's that good against those decks, do you not want more than one copy? Uh, before I play one main deck and one uh, ah. on the side, but then I prefer one spells in air to that. Sure. So cool. So uh, let, let's look at some of the other cards. We've got the fourth copy of Mana Leak. We've got, I believe that's a Nature's Claim. Yes. Uh, you, we talked about Twisted Image. Now, two threads of disloyalty. I've heard a lot of different things about threads. Some people like playing one so that the opponent can't really play around it, but it's not a part of your plan if they do. Other people like to max out on as many copies as they can because it's so powerful. How did you decide that you wanted to play two copies of Threads? Threads uh, is a card that is good uh, in the mirror match. Because sure. you can take off uh, Thermogoyf or if they don't set out uh, Delver, you can take them. Right. But uh, I think it's not so good against other decks. It's not uh, so okay. versatile. So it's pretty much two is the right. For my side out, side in is yeah, okay yeah. to choose. But, uh, even against Blue Boros, uh, if they set in cards like Corfoy Walker, okay. you can play three if you think that there sure. are too many Blue Boros or Rogue, but there are many other decks like Naya, like Storm, like uh, Tron, and Thieves does nothing against them. Yeah, of course. All right, we've got, we got two Pyroclasms, good, I guess, for hitting Geist of Saint Trap. Yeah, I guess it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Straightforward enough. Now, I see one Ancient Grudge, one Kroos and Grip, and then this one Nature's Claim over here. How did we decide that that's the mix of artifact and enchantment removal we wanted? Uh, Mana Disc play only Ancient Grudge as uh -huh. uh, it's for artifacts. But I think that uh, Affinity is a good matchup okay. by itself. So play cards like uh, Nature's Claim or uh, Frozen Grip. Okay. It's good against the Mirror because they said the Trace of Disloyalty. Uh -huh. It's good uh, against Splinter Twin because if they Splinter Twin, <laughs> <laughs> <that's> <laughs> straightforwardly, and uh, sometimes some Storm plays Pyromancer Ascension. Oh, and, okay. Uh, that's all I think. So you just want some additional versatility yeah. to interact with those. Mm. And finally, we've got three Hunt Master of the Fells. What are those doing? The deck uh, sometimes post cyborg uh, uh, decides to, to slow himself and okay. the control. Oh, Not sure. More aggro control. So. Cards like uh, Huntmaster are right. good for longer range. Sure. And uh, you can took off your Delver and play two ones. So the burn spell, I don't know, doing one for one, but right. one for out. And it's good the way. 
I think that uh, with the three shakers, three Vendelion, and uh, two threes, and uh, three Antmaster, you mm -hmm. can go more contra deck and not right. just an aggro punch. Right, the cryptics too, I guess, would help you play yeah. more for the long game and not just try to be a tempo deck that you know plays a threat and protects it. And hope for the next draw. No, I don't know. Totally. All right. Well, thank you so much, Samuela. Uh, this is Samuela Estrade, Pro Tour Philadelphia champion. I can't apparently say that word. Uh, I'm Zach Hill. We're at the Tournament Center. We've got a lot more rounds of Modern to watch, a lot more rounds of Magic. Please stay tuned to the Players' Championship and uh, stay with us. Thank you very much.